Drug addiction is a disease that changes the brain. Hey, Matthew and Debbie. Hi. If your girlfriend wants to come along, she's more than welcome. Okay. Before changing his mind about drugs, Matt gets a chance to see how using has changed his brain, a brain that's been getting high for four years. Well, we're going to inject you with a small amount of a radioactive material, which actually is able to tell us what the blood flow is to your brain. A SPECT scan will give Matt this unique opportunity to peer inside his own skull. Ready? Okay. Matt's family and his girlfriend join him to hear the test results from Dr. Greg Hipskind. And there's a picture of what we would call a healthy brain right here where you see the blood is kind of going everywhere and it's real smooth. You ready to look at your brain? Should yeah. we take a look at it? Yeah. All right, let's see what's going on. What you see is a somewhat shriveled appearance or a raisin appearance of the surface of the brain. And you see the sort of little divots just everywhere and then in various areas, uh, actual holes. And what that means is that the blood flow to large areas of your brain is what we'd say is abnormal. Yeah, so but this is a pattern we would say is common for someone who has had some type of substance abuse. And basically, if you're sort of continue at the same rate that you're doing, you would look at sort of make you just imagine this with twice as many holes and uh, a lot of function and you lose a lot of function i didn't realize how serious and i knew it's been bad but to see the pictures i think i need some help as bad as it is i i don't want to leave you here feeling there isn't hope okay I think there is something you can do about it, but you're going to have to take charge of it. It's your brain. It's the most important organ in your body. It's very sensitive. It does have the ability to heal, uh, but you have to give it a chance to do that. I don't want to go crazy or nothing. I don't want to lose my mind. I'm gonna put this in a in a frame, hang it above my bed, and write a note that says, "This is your brain on drugs." The truth about drugs is the majority of teenagers are not using them. But for those who take the risk, what seems like fun is actually a deceptive chemical reaction that could be stealing your ability to ever have fun again. Truth is, you might not be the one in ten who becomes addicted. You might not be one of the half million who ends up in the emergency room. You might not be among the ten percent who die. But then again, you might.